Hello, welcome to The Worst Days. I'm your host, Joshua Wise. I'm here with four people who are here with me, and that's just logic. Uh, <laughs> it's Tuesday night. It's the it's Railroad. It's Railroad episode number six, which means there are five episodes before this. Do you need to watch them? Yes. Uh, should you stop? No. No, you shouldn't. Uh, you should You should keep on now being confused. And then come back, uh, watch them on YouTube, and then, um, you know, come back uh, after next week, once you've seen them all. Uh, hey, I'm here with four performers, wonderful, strikingly handsome, one beautiful performer, the rest all handsome, uh, as we all choose to be. Uh, <laughs> Rachel Max, as our one beautiful performer how's it going personally i think you're all beautiful um not bad oh, over I, I, and... I'm, I'm using people's preferred <laughs> compliments preferred. here so thanks for um <laughs> well you're all beautiful you're all beautiful souls i don't think that's a gendered thing um no, i've never heard of a handsome soul so that's a handsome soul yeah. he's got that's a handsome soul right there. Just one handsome soul <laughs> Well, it makes me think of like a beefy soul, <laughs> a mm. big chonker of a soul. Yeah, yeah, like a. Now I'm thinking of like the, like a beefy soul of someone's foot. Like that's where my brain went. Just oh, that's a very different. The bottom very, of their foot. Very very different thing. Why wow. did my brain go there? I don't know. I'm overtired. That's why. So you know, thoughts aren't for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You know, that's what magnanimous means, right? Like it means big souled, big spirited magnanimous mag as in like magnum large and then animus spirit magnet huh. magnanimous animus yeah. spirit and i'm gonna keep an eye out for that now you didn't oh okay uh where we get the word animate from what like um oh that's cool yeah language is awesome um <laughs> language is awesome if you want to get the uh, a similar word in say hindi you get mahatma Maha meaning great, Atman meaning soul. Mm -hmm. So Mahatma Gandhi is great souled Gandhi because that's not his first name. Oh. It's Mohandas. Hmm. You know, I took global history and I don't believe they told us that. There's only they like, talked about him, there's only like 300 it. facts in global history. So I'm shocked they didn't cover <laughs> that one. Um, <laughs> Michael Morris is here. One of the 300 facts about history. How's it going, Michael? <laughs> hey, yo. Uh... Made it on the list. Yeah, I made it That's right good. on the list. <laughs> Check your textbooks. Uh, I'm in there somewhere. It's kind of like a, a hide and seek. You got to find me. You get extra credit on your next report. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like a Where's Wally. Um, that one's yeah. that one's for all you British viewers out there. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Will says, uh, let's get the stream rolling. Worst days on Twitch and Band of the Hand on TV. Uh, I don't, I don't know Band of the Hand. Um, also, Will, I can't quit, quit being educational. This is my, that's my shtick. If I'm not, if not, if I'm not telling people about the world, what have I got? Um, He's literally a teacher. Not anymore. We, um, well, you were. We, we yes, come to the stream to be educated and die. Yes. Learn and die. That's the, that's the worst <laughs> day's way. Uh, Justin Allen is here. How is it going with you, Justin? We got rain here in Texas. You sure do. Which dropped, which, which dropped the, the temperature from 110 to 98. How was the humidity? That's, I mean... <clears throat> no humidity because it burned off pretty quickly. Yeah, sure. Because <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was on the phone before before we started the stream. I was on the phone with one of my friends that does mulching over on the other part of Texas. It started off at 68 degrees this morning and then turned to 110. Oh my mm. god! Just in the other part of Texas, yeah, <laughs> the two in parts, the, part. the two parts that you have, um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the other part that I'm not in, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we. I think we've hit our last rainy day for a while now, which means I can finally go out and seal all the cracks uh, <laughs> around my porch, um, uh, and and make sure that we don't get flooded again. Um, uh, speaking of being flooded again, Quinn Seifbold is here. How's it going, Quinn? 
I'm very hydrated. Good. That's a lie. I'm not very. No. Okay. (laughs) Go get hydrated because, you know, your health. Do do as I say, not as I do. Okay. I can't talk about why I'm not hydrated. (laughs) Okay. So so next week when Kit... So next week when Quinn is hydrated, so be dehydrated? Correct. I, 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 I won't be hydrated next week. No, why Why would anybody be? Plot twist, she's never <laughs> hydrated. Yeah. I am, I'm usually hydrated. I just, I can't do it if I have, like, a thing I'm going to be doing. Okay. The answer is my bladder is very small. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Mm. Um, it's a mood. Yeah. Um... Well, this is a, an hour and a half long show. There's always the chance to get up uh, and <laughs> put a, a you, you know, what you need, Queen, you need like one of those, a button that will freeze your camera. Um, and then we'll be like, ah, Quinn's camera's frozen. And you're like, scoot off to the bathroom. Oh, no. And then <laughs> you're like, hey, <laughs> come back this time. <laughs> the only problem is I would have, because <laughs> when like, when I was still in school, uh-huh. you know, you've got a Bluetooth connection with your sure. computer and these instead of, you know, a mic in here or like, you know, cause I'm using an actual fancy mic. I don't do that for school. That's right. Bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you can just turn your camera off and triple check that you muted yourself and then you're still there for the lecture, but uh-huh. you also take care of business. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I having never been in school when such things were, <laughs> were happening i never had the pleasure of <laughs> um <clears throat> the fear of not muting yourself is right. very real mm-hmm. yeah yeah i have to very have scary to... i've seen a few videos on the internet that may or may not be real about times when people <laughs> have forgotten to mute their microphones during class mm-hmm. um uh, there was a guy fired from CNN for forgetting to mute his or for forgetting to turn his webcam off during a meeting. But he was also rehired. That's true. I guess he was like like mm-hmm. a year later, two years later. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so we're here. Um, <laughs> uh, John Lennon <Lindner laughs> says it's the equivalent of not hanging up the phone before talking smack <laughs> about them. Indeed. Oh, I I have <clears throat> seen and heard that happen multiple times in my job. I had a. F- I, no, I wouldn't say she was a friend. I don't think she liked me. Um, but I worked <laughs> with a person about 20 years ago at a bank. And she uh, she emailed what she thought was her friend talking mm. about her boss. Oh, no. Uh, but she turned out to be actually emailing the boss talking about the boss. Mm. Uh, and that, it's like, um... that was amusing. Have y'all ever sent screenshots to the person that you were screenshotting? <laughs> the scariest worst feeling. I've done it once. I've never done it, but yes, it's also I just don't do I just don't There's... do that to people. <laughs> this truth I will say happened in high school when like that drama was the biggest of your life and people really blew things out of proportion and you were guilty of it too. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really have that when you were around. <laughs> no, uh, no, we didn't. We just wrote notes. I actually once found a box of my high school notes, mm-hmm. um, and read through them and went, "I kind of <laughs> remember this. This is a note from a girl who I don't remember at all." <laughs> um, there were there were enough flings in high school that there were genuinely <laughs> people in a box who wrote me notes that I have no memory of. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. We actually, we looked through uh, yearbooks the other night, uh, and there were lots of people in my high school class that I don't remember at all, <laughs> uh, which is a solid indicator of how connected I was to people in so, high school. Sounds like you might need to schedule an appointment for a certain <laughs> day. How, 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 how big was your just school like, again? We had, uh, let's see, in four grades, we had about 1,200 kids. Oh, that would be why. Yeah. That would be why you don't recognize people. There are 1,200 of you. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, so 300 in my class, I guess, around there, two, 250, hmm. something like that by the time by the time we, we graduated. Um, 
They Still shot crazy. a lot of them. They just, you know, they, you didn't do well in history. They just take the Catholics. They, they'll take you out. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, lots of kids. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> no, a duck you just put. You um, have more memories of girls <laughs> in my high school. Well, it's not entirely true, but it is true that I did go to, I did go out with a, a girl from her high school. And um, I did go to a dance with her and ended up dancing with another girl the whole night. <laughs> um, Because uh, we had already kind of broken up, but... She needed a date for her dance. So, uh, you know, you know, you just players going to play, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're here. It's a horror game. Last week, we learned what absolute monsters all of the people in this group are. Um, yeah. Good times. Uh, <clears throat> oh, wow. Holy Will how many? Okay, so how many people? I, I need to address this note in the and uh, Will says on a morbid note, there are only fifteen people left of my graduating class. Now, wow. if there were sixteen people in the class, that's <laughs> fucked up, but you know, like understandable. If there were three hundred, that needs an explanation. <laughs> like it's not like it's wow. nineteen seventeen, and like you know, a whole generation has been wiped out in Europe. But wow, that is that is a crazy number. Um, mm. Also, if you see me muting and moving away, it's because I still have a bit of a cough, and you guys can hear me, but they can't. Uh, gotcha. So, so when I mute, I mute Thank the you. audience, and then I'm just gonna cough <laughs> right into your ears. It's it's, it's only for Thank us. You. It's yeah, only for that. us. Yeah, that one's for you guys. Uh, so, <laughs> last week, uh, we found out that Ruby cares more about trains than people. We. Uh, we uh we found out that oh that's a huge downer thank thanks will um uh true but wow uh the um tommy uh basically drank himself into oblivion and barely helped somebody who who needed help uh, Dennis just declined to go help people. Uh, and, uh, Lizzie <laughs> at first did not care at all. And then was finally sort of guilted into trying to help somebody, but then left somebody to just burn alive. <laughs> uh, all in a train wreck that happened, uh, right next to your train. The Great Zephyr, which is heading west to Woodstock, or at least that's where you're all hoping to go, uh, except for Ruby, who is just on the last train. You guys get back on the train. <laughs> a small group of people, a small group of survivors who are not radically injured are taken onto the train and given rooms. The rest of the people are being taken care of by local medical personnel um, ambulances, emergency services, they've all started to gather themselves to this, uh, to the train crash. And the Great Zephyr starts rolling away around 10 o'clock at night. You, you end up staying there for hours. The tournament, the, the poker tournament is canceled. Uh, people who have their winnings have their winnings. Anybody who's put money in that hasn't somehow gotten winnings out or hasn't lost them which should be nobody at this point, um, <clears throat> they'd get their money back. But you guys are all back on the train. Uh, Tommy is passed out uh, in your room. What do the rest of you do now that uh, you're back on the train? Um, well, Ruby would... Um... I think bef as in the hubbub of everyone getting shuffled back onto the train, I want to head up to um, our engine. To okay, the sure. Engine. Uh -huh. um, and I just, I put a hand on her and I go, 
Now you listen to me. You see something scary that makes you want to jump, you let me know, okay? Because that fellow over there, he, he got scared and he jumped. I don't jump. <laughs> Mr. Uh -oh. Train? I don't jump, Ruby. I, I don't know if I've... I've never met someone like you before. No, are, you haven't. Are you a train? Yes. Are you sure about that? Oh, yes. Well, all right then. It's nice to be able to talk to somebody. It's good to talk to someone too. You ever try talking to the other trains? Yes. Did that other train jump because he saw you? No. Which is too him? bad. You wanted him to jump. I like when they shake. When they... Well, that's just the rails. You got you're gonna shake. They're rickety. Have you got a name? No. Do you mind if I give you a name? Please. All right, Mr. Zephyr. That's it? Just Zephyr? <laughs> oh, you want a different name? It's not very well, original. That's what they're home. That's what the... <laughs> It's what the meat puppets call me. Well, yeah. Well, otherwise, you're just Mr. Train. I've never had a given name before. You're putting a lot of pressure on me. You volunteered, Ruby. Well, <laughs> I asked if you had a name, and you said no. And then I was like, well, I'm going to be calling you Mr. Mr. Train anyways, and that's kind of like a name. So then I got to double check to make sure that you won't be offended by the fact that I'm calling you something akin to a name. And then you said you wanted a name. And then I had to go and try and make a good name. Never named something before. You're right, Ruby. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make a sound like that. I'm just... It's... It's a lot of pressure. Most trains already have a name. Most trains I'm sorry. aren't like me. Well, what makes you so special? There's no answer at this point. Mr. Train? A man walks in from behind you. He's, he's a big, round man with a big, curly mustache. It's all white and bristly. And he's got a hat on and white hair. And he says, oh, hello there. Hello. Uh, what are you doing up here in the engine? Oh, I was just giving it a little pat-pat. <laughs> I'll head on back to my car now. Oh, oh okay. Uh, you're not supposed to be up here. Well, well, yeah, but I'm outside. I thought it was okay to look at the engine. Right, but it's dangerous. Well, I'll go. I'll go. I'll get on the train. Okay. Well, that that would be safer. I can't just look at what the train looks. Why is it, why is it dangerous? Being next to a big train like this, we're getting ready to get going here. You could. You could... Oh, it's time to go. That's All right. right. Well, thank you for letting me know, sir. Yes, would start... you like a hand up? Oh, well, that would be very kind of you. Here we go. And <laughs> he just helps you on up. Um, <clears throat> Lizzie, what are you doing while Ruby's talking to uh, the engine? What is wrong with this train? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was very surprised by that train. <laughs> Uh, are we all back in the room? You said we're all on the train now? And yeah, I, I mean, you can all be back in the room if you want. Tommy is definitely passed out, though. Um, I, I am in my room. I'm moping in the room. 
Okay. I'm not doing anything interesting. I'm just disappointed and angry at life, and I just am responsible for someone dying, and I don't want to. Lizzie wanna, doesn't know yeah. what to do with things. She she also had, like, personal attachment to the girl because her name was also Lizzie, and she was better than her emotionally in every way. Yeah. yeah so she she's was. like, I hate everything right now. I want to be alone. Uh, well, there is a knock on your door. Guess I'll get the door because he's passed out. Where is where is uh, Dennis right now, Denny? Uh, he's on the top bunk. Okay. Uh, so fin- finishing his sandos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Timmy is at the door and he's standing there with his arms crossed. Hello, Lizzie. Hi. Hi, Timmy. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? Well, what is it that that you want? World peace, honestly. But if I can't have that, I would like an explanation. Can you please <laughs> elaborate elaborate on what you're looking for? What explanation for what? There were people dying out there, and your drunk friend was just stumbling around, and you decided that it was more important to help your drunk friend than the people who were burning alive. I'm sorry I didn't want my friend to also die. I I don't know what you want. No, I got it. And he just turns and starts to walk away. Great. All right. Bye. And I'm going to close the door. There's an immediate other knock on the door. Are you <laughs> kidding me? And I guess I'm turning back around to open the door. How do you open the door? I'm going to like whip it open. I'm frustrated. I'm not in the mood. The sick girl is standing there looking oh, at you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi. Shouldn't you be in your cabin? Her eyes are dark, like they're sunken in and dark, and she's got like one of those rolling like things with a bottle full of like what's probably saline like attached to her. And she's just looking at you and she opens her mouth and she goes, uh, 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 I'm closing the door on her! (laughs) She's slamming in! She sounds like a clicker. <clears throat> yes, you slam the door on like a ten year old, nine year old girl in a in a in a hospital gown with I did. Um okay. You know my feelings about children. <laughs> oh, so these are your this is this is Rachel closing the door. Rachel's no, closing yes. the door on the girl, not <laughs> so what I've learned about what I've learned about Lizzie is that she is my intrusive thoughts that I would never act on. Okay, all right. <laughs> So. For just a second, and I promise this is yeah. just a second. This is a little <laughs> okay. blip. This is a Tyler Durden blip. But for like <laughs> for like a little blip of a second, there's a man in a seersucker suit leaning up against the window in the train going, Rachel, I am disappointed in you. And then he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he shows up again. <laughs> Uh, Will says, uh, the ring is still 30 years away. That's true. Yeah. It's, uh, I was about to say like, ah, but the changeling and, but no, the changeling is also still 12 years away. So fuck me, I guess. Um, <laughs> um, how does Denny react to what, what, what just happened? Uh, Lizzie, who was that? Uh, sick girl being weird. And I, I don't know. Weird and freaky did she say anything no she just looked at me with weird eyes and went uh and i'm not dealing with that (laughs) well she's sick (laughs) jenny would you like to go check that out i'll go go help this child i don't uh, she was a little (laughs) scary i She's a kid. Kick her if she bites you. Or I don't know. That's a good choice. All right, I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll go. I'll hop off the bed, down my sandwich, open the door, and see if she's still out there. Uh, she is not. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> is she like 
if I poke my head out, is she around? Uh, no. Uh, in fact, you just see, um, you see the door to the next car closing. Mm. Well, uh, somebody else took her in, probably some good Samaritan or somebody. It's probably the surfer boys. They, she's fine. They're, be- they're mm, they've got it. Yeah, was it their room? We know their room, right? Yeah, no, it, it wasn't the next room. It was the next car. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. going into the next car. Okay, she'll be okay. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> her is, right? What's that? She's in the car right next to us, right? No, right. her, her, her. I thought her room was right next to the um. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. I'm 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 like thinking on the and yeah. her car. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So um you do, however, uh there is another knock on your door. Are you getting it or am I? I'll because that's it. the third knock. Okay. We it's... we know the third knock rule. I gotta answer this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. the gentleman from the from the train station, uh, the man with the German accent, mm-hmm. and he says, uh, "Hello." Evening. Uh, yeah, guten Abend. Uh, I have here a uh, a request for a telephone conversation with uh, Lizzie Rhodes. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. All it right. Is, whatever. Uh, uh, Mr. Seymour Ipswich. I'm checking my list of people's names because I know that name. Manager Seymour Ipswich <laughs> the third. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All not right. not yeah, Philly guess- Junior the third, uh, <laughs> which was his original suggested name by Michael. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Seymour Ipswich the third is on the phone for you. Oh, no. All right, I, I guess so. I'll go. I'll I'll go get the phone. Yeah, okay. it is uh, in in the lounge car. Okay, great. All right, yeah, I'm coming. Have you by by the way? Have you seen a little mm-hmm. girl around? She's gone missing. I, yeah, I just saw her go th- to the next car over. I'm sorry, you saw her. Uh, well, she was running off in that direction. She was running off. She is a dying girl and she ran away. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. You I saw her run like, 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 a, like, like, like a runner. Well, like I saw her closing the door behind her as she entered the next car. How did you know it was her if the door was closing behind her? How many girls have a little like rolling thing of sailing? Oh, so the them? rolling thing of sailing it got trapped on the side of the door. I don't. It was on the other side. I don't know what she's doing. Well, is I don't know. The, the door is solid? How did you see that? Like it was over the end of the car as she was closing it. I, I, I what? No, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, it's good, okay. I guess. Um, yes, uh, your your call is waiting for you. Thank you. Um, Will is asking, how old is this gentleman? I, between 45 and 55, somewhere in there. <clears throat> um, and he just, you could just feel him. Give I me a know. social I smarts roll. Give me a social smarts roll. <laughs> Do you really need a social smarts roll to know I, how We need a roll. Let's like just get a roll in here. Yep. It's not a hard roll. I'm not roll. even good at social I'm smarts. Not. I'm quite bad, actually. Can I make a subconscious I roll? I he's bad. I do want to be on this guy's side in this moment. However, oh. everyone should be on his side. However, <laughs> just hey, like, look think at that. about it. It's entirely possible for her to have just like to have yeah. see like she said, well the door like this this man has clearly already met Lizzie and has made his judgments. <laughs> is all I'm mm-hmm. saying. <clears throat> yes. that, you got a fortune point. <laughs> You did get a fortune point, uh, and you you do feel Wait. him judging you. That's pretty easy. You feel him judging <laughs> yeah. you as you walk away. <laughs> I know. Lizzie feels everyone judging her. She's done. It's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lizzie's in a bad place now. Uh, Jolly Blue Gnome says every time I hear that voice, I think vampire. Boy, you guys, I don't want to say Nazi scientist, but Nazi scientist. Wow, the Germans can't get a break, huh? It's 1969. <laughs> Been, yeah, not in the 60s. It's been 25 <laughs> years, you know. 
<laughs> um, too soon. Yeah. Um, you, you, I mean, you don't know. He, he could be Dutch for all you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> no, the the person the person that we are suspecting of is a completely different person, Jolly Blue. No. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, he he watches you go, and then he, you see him like go and knock on the next door as well, and he he says, "Hello, have you seen a young girl th- coming through here?" Um, and as you you go and and you go to the lounge. You feel like everybody's watching you and judging you. Um, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Not the way Lizzie likes either. Right. Um, right. Like, they, they're they not like, look at that lady. She looks talented and, and capable. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's not that. That's not the vibe she's getting. <laughs> uh, you get to the lounge and uh, you you speak to the kind of the... the um, not really the maitre d' because it's just a lounge, but like somebody who's there uh, waiting on people and they point you towards a phone and you pick it up. Um, hello? Hi, Seymour. Lizzie, is that you? It's me. Lizzie, what the hell is going on? I don't know anymore. I'm getting calls. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm truly sorry. I don't normally get calls about you, Lizzie. I, you know, I wish you weren't getting calls about me, honestly. It's been my wish. I've been praying every day. God, Lord, deliver me some kind of news about Lizzie. God, make something happen. This wasn't what I was hoping for. Me neither. I, I had a conversation with the wrong person and it did not go the way I intended Lizzie, I, I have to say, I, I, I know. What are yeah, we going to do? I don't know because I, in the moment, I just didn't want to, I felt like I was being objectified and it has not gone well. I made a bad excuse and here we are. Well, I mean, you're going to be objectified more because you're going to be just serving groceries now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I hope, I hope that's what I'm doing now. I mean, probably. Oh, look, here's the thing. You've yeah. got nothing booked for the rest of the year. This was supposed to be the kickoff. This was supposed to be the big I thing. Know. Everyone was going to see Lizzie Rhodes. What do we do? You're my manager. What do we do? I get, how much do I get? As a manager, how much do I get? <laughs> I don't know how much managers make. 10%. Sure. 10%. 10 percent. 10% you make. Right. Okay. I know, I know that you're a rock star. I know it. But 10%, let's work out the math here. 10% of nothing is what? It is nothing. I am giving you nothing. I am failing you. Well, you're not failing me. This isn't personal. This is business. I can't work for nothing. I know. So I got to say, I'm sorry. All right. I, I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry. All right. Well, well, I, I, I don't know what to do to make this better. I don't know how to fix this. Do oh. I, I can go to that man's door and beg for him to reconsider and offer him whatever it is. Um, what do you think? You are my manager. You are the one who's supposed to help me and give me advice. Lizzie, I don't think you're following me here. Yeah. I'm not your manager. That right. ship has sailed. All right. Thank you. Good luck to you, Lizzie. Good luck, Click. Seymour. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm gonna go get a drink. You're a free agent <laughs> now. I don't want to be a free agent. Do you know how hard it is to get a manager? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the bar is there. There's a guy standing behind the bar. He's very well dressed, you know, vest, tie. He's he's cleaning out a, a glass and he says, "Hello." Hi. I can I get something strong? Just something very very strong. 
Oh, you mean the drink? Yeah, absolutely. Uh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's over there just flexing just as he's cleaning the glass. You back here, or are we, are we talking? Glass <laughs> <laughs> over there. Or... <laughs> you want top shelf or bottom? <laughs> I fully missed that too. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he just pours you. Uh, he's like, just you want a, you want a vodka tonic? I hold the tonic, honestly. Just some. You want straight strongest. vodka? All right, how about yeah, all right? How, how about a martini? Yeah. No, the straight vodka sounds better. It's it's, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> you he pours you a straight vodka he puts it down and you immediately feel that he's judging you I don't <laughs> care everyone else is judging me my life is falling apart I want the straight vodka and I'm knocking it back good good you, you need another one of those sure yep yep oh good yeah right. sounds good that's great pours does, does Lizzie have does Lizzie have the money with her Lizzie has some money with her. I yeah. think I don't know if she ever put it back. Yeah. All right, here you go. Thanks. Yeah, you understand that like a martini has both alcohol and alcohol in it. I yeah. don't deserve that right now. You don't deserve gonna double. Too, uh, no, that's going <clears> to <throat> taste too good. It, okay. No. Yeah. No, that's great. Uh, hey, I would rather the closest thing to rubbing alcohol as possible. That is what I'm looking for right now. Okay. All right. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, uh, the, the, the geriatric car is that way as Ruby just walks in. <laughs> God damn. Excuse me? The car for the, uh, the old folks meeting, it's that way back there. They're having that where they were going to have the uh, the cards. Going to my room. Oh, okay. I didn't know what that word meant. Thank you for explaining. <laughs> Ruby oh, you continues Ruby? on her way. Right, <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, you did do... you say something to me? How are you? How are you, uh, how are you doing? I'm great. I'm so glad. I'm glad <laughs> someone's doing good. And I'm be walked away. <laughs> uh back in the back in the 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 car uh tommy wakes up suddenly and shockingly no nah. am i hung over am i just like you're still a little drunk you're not hung over yet okay yeah right i smell the guy. sandwich oh yeah sorry i burped recently <laughs> Uh, was it, was, you was it at least good because it smelled good? Ham, cheese, lettuce, pretty classic. Mayonnaise, extra mayonnaise. Oh, I cut diagonally. <laughs> oh, the best sandwich. I wish I would have saved you one, but I couldn't stop. You all almost just watched me die. I, I like, <laughs> I, I like swallowed a cough drop whole and for a second i was like did it go down am i just is this it um but nope <laughs> a side note i thought it was a roast beef sandwich a random detail too. to remember from last week no, this was this Continuity. is this is one of this is one of denny's packed sandwiches oh i see he had a second sandwich mm. he had it's the roast really beef from the guy but sandwiches. this is one of denny's sandwiches from his bag got it, got it. That was a very important detail for me. <laughs> yeah, so we had been... a whole conversation about roast beef, and you sent us a picture of corned beef, so. Mm, what? That's a real. Yep. That happened? <laughs> yes, in the chat. He sent a, he went, oh, roast beef, and sent a picture of corned beef, and I went, that's not roast <laughs> oh. beef. That's a real Northeastern <laughs> yeah. faux pas. <laughs> nice see that right there. there that's, that's just bread and meat. That's corned beef. Why isn't there, Is like... there anything left in my bottle? No, that I have. No, ah, uh, <laughs> looks. Also, I'm going to say controversially, the Reuben is the best sandwich. It's a pretty good sandwich. Yeah. 
Never That's had a pretty one. good one. What oh, come fuck? on. How about a Rachel? You ever heard of Rachel? Oh, my God. I Must be a northern thing. That's not even a joke. That's uh, a Reuben no. is fantastic, and a Rachel is almost as good. Hmm. What is, what's a Rachel sandwich? I'm it's coleslaw Rachel. instead oh. of sauerkraut. Ooh, Ooh I would be down for that. Yeah, no, that's more my speed, yeah. I'd be down for that. I, lo I love yeah, both, but, like, it's just two ways of doing cabbage <laughs> on on the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Justin, come to the Northeast. Let's go to a deli. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, fly <laughs> fly to the Northeast to hit a deli. I'm 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm, fly, I'm, fly, I'm flying north for a sandwich, guys. Let, let yeah. me let me let me, oh. let me see how that goes over with my wife. Yeah, we'll yeah. get a sandwich. We'll get a matzo ball soup. You'll be very happy. Well, I don't know about the I, matzo ball soup. Um, get out of here, Joshua. Again, That's it's just for it's me. literally just no. a, a cracker in the shape don't of do a that ball. A cracker. <laughs> it is, it's it'll, soft. It's fluffy. You're having the wrong matzo balls. No, it is a soft cracker in the shape of a ball. Uh, and well, I don't. Ar I'm not going to argue with a cubano. That is a solid Ooh, choice for I a love sandwich. A um, mm -hmm. uh, how was it long? How how long was it this time, Denny? <clears throat> uh, not that long. Maybe like thirty minutes or something. You came in all kind of fucked up from. The train. Do you remember any of that? Are you I remember <laughs> grabbing a face and then passing out. <laughs> hmm. Did you? No, no, did, wait. Did you kill I a man? <laughs> <laughs> Are there any pigs around? <laughs> If not, no. I don't. No, I look. I look clean. <laughs> this no, isn't I what I look like when I've killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> he only knows of one way to dispose of a body. It, the swine. <laughs> Is this like? Did he kill his brother? Is that what I'm hearing? I don't know. You're not here. I know. Yeah, you ain't hearing shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh how was it out there i don't know why you guys went out to a train on fire i was kind of confused about that I, I don't remember so i mean, i don't i don't really remember getting off the train yeah, yeah, I can see that. You're pretty fucked up. You uh, um, you want to go like get something to sober you up? Maybe, maybe a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think that Continental Place does midnight breakfast. But first, I need to hit the John. And then uh, Tommy will try and get up out of bed, but then just falls. <laughs> oh. I'll, uh, I'm I'll good. You to it. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, all right. <laughs> Come on. I'll sit you down, just like uh, Milwaukee. Okay. And then I <laughs> guess we'll we'll go two. somewhere to 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 get us a, a snack or is Denny just going to leave me in the can by myself <laughs> No, I'm I'm sitting there. I'm like right beside you while your pants down sitting to be <laughs> like drunk friend in college making sure you're alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hand, hand on your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's not, out, it's your face. It oh, oh. <laughs> I appreciate you. Yeah. Always. One of my favorite podcasts <laughs> back in the early 2000s, like the first decade of the 2000s, was, um, I'm not going to name it because of the story uh, that involves mm -hmm. a guy peeing, um, but I met the guys from the podcast uh, at a convention, <clears throat> and there was this big gather get-together at a bar afterwards, and I just hung back. I, I, actually, I actually just sat at a bar and talked to a girl the whole time and then they kind of came over and got drinks and that's when I kind of got to talk to them 
Um, but I ended up in the bathroom at the same time as one of the guys. And he did this, he had a peeing maneuver that I'd never seen before that was a drunk guy peeing maneuver. And it was mm -hmm. hand against the wall, body like leaned, and then his whole body just kind of rotated like a gimbal as he was going. Um... <laughs> That's some talent. I have, yeah, I... I, have, I have seen something similar to that, Josh, over in, in, in North Texas at, at the bar at, at, at Uptown in, in <laughs> around Denton, Dallas, Fort Worth area. I have uh -huh. seen that maneuver. <laughs> Maybe it's the same guy. That's the it, uh, that's is, their skin marks on the bowl, and you need to clean it off, maneuver. <laughs> uh, I know it's not the same guy unless you saw it back in like 2010, because the guy that I saw <laughs> died a couple of years later, mm -hmm. uh, sadly. Nope. Um, mm -mm. He was like my age, which like mm. like I had listened to them for Dad. years every week, and then he was just gone, mm. and that was that fucked me up more than any celebrity who's ever died ever. Um, yeah. So, um, okay. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna head out together looking for snacks. Uh, Come on. Ruby is heading back. Ruby, you do actually run into, um, oh, uh, yeah, Worm Germ, you know what I'm talking about. You were there. You were there <laughs> at that event. Holy shit. Yeah. I forgot. Somebody in our chat was there at that moment when, when oh, wow. that exact thing happened. Um, there was, so it was just two people watching a guy piss. No way. <laughs> <laughs> that was part of the event. Just standing there. Was you would get to sit there and just watch him go to the bathroom. Um, this which, is why what they really say about society, uh, which I'm going to, I'm going to say this. And again, like, uh, like based on, like context clues if you really wanted to find out who this was you could but that dude drank breast milk at a convention once in front of a crowd of people um uh, so like it's not wildly out of sorts that he might have pissed in front of people um but Did he uh, drink it straight from the source or was no, it bottled? no it was brought to him which was uh. which was kind of part of what was fucked up about it because <laughs> these people brought him breast milk to drink and you could mm. just see him like go through the emotional thing. I'm, I'm, am I going to do this in front of these people? <laughs> Maybe this is poisoned. I don't know. Maybe it's not even breast milk. Um, but uh, but yeah. In fact, I think it might have been one of the first times I ever I ever not the first time, but one of the first times I actually ever hung out with Worm Germ. And uh, uh, yeah, that was that was a really important podcast for a lot of us at the time. And actually, uh, our show No Avatars Allowed owed a lot to that um uh uh that um uh it's not ryan dunn but you're not wildly off uh in your guess there will um so uh yeah you guys go looking and you find um you end up actually meeting ruby in where the uh where the cards were uh and there are just tables full of old people sitting around uh drinking oh. and having snack <laughs> We all just given into being bad people. <laughs> it smells like Werther's in here. <laughs> hey, Ruby. Where are you headed? Are we you were welcome? looking for for something to eat. Oh, well, we could have that fancy dinner now. You want to join us? A well, sure thing. My friend should ask. Said you, you folks are good folks, and I should stick close to you. Who? His name's Jasper. Oh, well, you should introduce us. Oh, he's not here no more. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you get off at the 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 thing? <clears throat> well, kind of. Anyway, let's go eat. Uh, now, right at that moment, Sally, Timmy, and Johnny walk in, um, and they're looking around, and they and they just start shaking hands with old people. They're like saying hi. They're asking how people are. They're like asking if they could they can get people things, and and they're just sort of moving throughout the crowd of of people, and and 
taking care of people. They're going up and getting people uh, drinks. And um, Sally, who you really haven't run into yet, um, walks up and uh, stands in front of Lizzie. And she says, hi, Lizzie. Oh, am I there? I mean, you came back, didn't you? Oh, I thought, I, no, you're not. Okay, then she walks up Then she walks up to, to Denny and she goes, hey, Denny. Uh, hello. Hi. Um, we only kind of met like for like a minute in the past. I'm Sally. Um, Sally. I, I just with want With a Y or an IE? Uh, with a Y. Two L's? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm Denny, two N's. I know, I know, actually. I remember that you were at that show um, and you were like doing uh, doing stuff for Lizzie Rhodes, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, also, you used to work for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You and Hi, Sal. Hi, hey, hey, Tommy. Um, looks like you <laughs> looks like you had a, a rough one. It's bad. Yeah. You had a good one. Okay. Well. Um. Anyway, I just wanted to say I'm really, really, really sorry. Um, I heard about what happened and I am devastated for you. And I just want to say that like, if you want your old job back, if you guys want to come back, um, to the Rovers, you can now that, now that like Lizzie doesn't have a manager anymore and that you guys aren't going to be playing Woodstock. What? But if you want to play Woodstock, you totally can. Like your chance isn't gone. You can, you can come and hang out. And like, if Lizzie wants to come up on stage and like, you know, look, we're not out of Woodstock. Okay, I don't even think that's possible. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm really sorry. You should talk to Lizzie. Tommy is going to gently grab Sally's hand and be like, Sal? Hey, hey, Tommy. I would love to come back and work for you again, but yeah. I am not in the space right now. I don't mean tonight. I I'm, you're, you're I'm clearly... trying, I know I'm trying to get better. Mm -hmm. I know that's what you, 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 what, what, what you wanted. It is what I want for you. Yeah. I'm trying, but, well, can we I, I help gotta, you? I got to see. Is there some way we can goes. help? Maybe some coffee. Okay. Oh, that's that's a first step. I will go get you some coffee. Um, and then maybe if you come over to us, we can make sure that maybe you're in an environment where, like, there won't be so much pressure to, like, you know, maybe do some stuff that isn't good for you. I had a lot of fun with all of y'all. Mm -hmm. um, um, well, we'd well, love to have you well, back. Let me go get you that coffee. Um, and she heads into the next car uh, where Lizzie is. Uh, I'll, I'll crouch down to Ruby. Oh, come on, let's go get some Italian before she comes back. Fuck her. Let's go. Okay. Lizzie's like, Tommy, do you want to stay here with your in? friend? Do you want to stay with your friend or do you want to come get Italian with us? I would love to eat with you. You are the nicest person I have met besides Danny. That's very sweet and also not true. Be honored. Probably try Let's and wake up and recover from this. All right. Uh, uh, I wave over to me. Uh, hey, how are you? Hi. Ruby? I'm good. You said I'll let you know if I need anything. Can you pass on a message for me? Sure. Yeah. Um, His friend Sally, who is also your friend, went to go get him coffee, but we're going to go to the Italian restaurant to get some food and I want to make sure she knows where he got. Okay. Does she... Does he still want the coffee in the Italian place or is he going to get it there? Is this... Is this... Is this um, which one is this one? Is this Clyde or... Timmy. Timmy? Yep. Still want it. Okay. Stay All positive. Right. Stay positive. Okay, Thank Tommy. You. Can, All right. Can do better. Cool. Hey, Denny. Let's go. I know. Hey, okay. All right. Thank also, really you. sorry about your band. 
Uh, and he just goes over and starts shaking more hands with with people. So bunch of thieves. Let's let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, come on. Uh, in the other car, Sally. Lizzie's walks... a couple of drinks down. She yeah. is definitely tipsy. She is not happy. You said Ooh, ten dollars then. Yeah, probably like ten dollars. I feel like that's like a good oh. amount of drinks. Yeah. yeah, about four. We'll we'll say four or five. Yeah, that sounds about yeah. how much I would like. Yeah, uh, maybe four a little single... bit more than she should have been having at this point because mm -hmm. she's drinking them pretty fast. She should probably they... stop. <laughs> These doubles are singles. They're singles. Oh. Yeah. Um, Sally walks up, sits down next to you, and she looks at the bartender and she she says. Can I get uh, two coffees, please? Thank you. Hey, Lizzie. Hi, Sally. Hey, um... Look, I, w I wanted to say I'm really sorry. Thanks. It's a... It's, it's a really... Unhappy situation. Um... <clears throat> look, I'm... I'm a fan. And I, I like your music. And... Um, I was thinking... You do? Yeah. I do. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and because of that, like, that, that I was thinking that, like, you know, like, screw the man, right? Like, this is rock and roll. So, like, I know that, I know that things didn't work out for you and things aren't working out. But if you want to come up on stage with us and do a couple of numbers with us at Woodstock, like, we would love to have you. But I'm so mean to you guys. I know, but that's... I'm not going to say it's okay, but, like, I, I get it. It's really nice of you. I just, you know, like... <clears throat> I don't want to never hear your music again. I'm sorry for being so mean. I I I I shouldn't. I I I I was, I was jealous of you guys and I'm having a really bad time and I just watched a girl die and I'm not happy. Yeah. Yeah, we all watched we all just watched people die. Well, I, I don't know about everybody, but we we certainly did. Um, look, I don't, I don't, I can't promise you anything. All, all I can do is say that, like, we have this little bit of power where we can invite you up on stage and do a couple of songs with us at Woodstock. And, like, maybe, maybe if there's some magic and, you know, like, if there's some wonder that maybe someone will see you up there and see your talent and go, yes, Lizzie Rhodes, she is, she's the one, like, we're gonna, we're gonna sign her, or, like, we want to hear her music, and then either, you know, maybe someone will sign you, or maybe your manager will, will say, like, yeah, hey, we got a call, or whatever, but, like, but if we don't do that, if we don't give you that spot, like, we're just, we're, we're just making the same stupid mistake everybody else is making. You are so nice. Thank you so much. And I'm just going to start crying and hug her. Oh, 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 hey. No, it's fine. It's You're fine. You're so nice. Okay. I, I don't deserve this. You are such a nice person. It's, it's okay. We all have to look out for each other. You know, like we all have to make this happen. So like, I know that you and Timmy had some friction and I'm going to talk to him um, and I'm going to make sure that if one way or the other, I'm going to try. I, I guess I can't make sure because Denny seems to be, for whatever reason, really. Denny doesn't even remember working for us, which is a little bit weird for me. But <laughs> <laughs> um, like Denny, Denny kind of didn't even remember who I am. So, you know, like, but I'm still going to try to like get them jobs and make sure that like they're taking care no, you of you should you should thank you and if and you know and like obviously if if someone grabs you and says like lizzie rhodes you're as awesome as sally thinks you are then like i like they're you know take them right back but i want to make sure they land on their feet and i want to make sure that like we can f try to try to get you 
a situation, you know, like get you that chance. So maybe a little bit of magic, maybe a little Woodstock magic can happen. I hope so. Thank you so much. How, how can I repay you? Like, what can I do? You were too nice. Nope. Can, I, can I buy you a drink? Can I, uh, no, can no, I do? No, 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 no drinking for me tonight. Um, here's what, okay. here's what, look, promise me this. Okay. If it works out. Uh huh. Right. And 10 years from now and I'm some washed up has been and you're a big rock no, star. No, you won't be. Then, People love you guys. Then you just, you give me that one little chance too. You let me come up and do my little song and you'll have paid me back. Whatever you want. Absolutely. Whatever you want. You are, you are, you're so nice and so pretty. And I am so sorry for being so mean to you. It's okay. I get, I believe me. I'm not always nice. I'm not always kind, but like, God, we're all in this together, right? Like the man yeah. is who we're, we're, we're fighting, you know, like, cause it's yeah. rock and roll. Yeah, you, you're right. You know, so, Hey, I need to get, I need to get Tommy this coffee. Thank you. Um, yeah. but, um, but yeah, her drinks are on me. Don't worry about it here. And she puts a 20 no, down. No, 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 no. And she, she picks don't up the coffees. That. And she's like, just don't drink too much. You know, like, get get a good night's sleep and know that, like, Woodstock is there. It's still there. It's still happening. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, okay, I gotta go get Tommy this coffee. Uh, and she walks okay. off. <clears throat> That has the makings of like some kind of like indie low budget low budget film about the two lesbians who <laughs> enemies to lovers brings her up on stage at Woodstock, you know. <laughs> Is it just me? Is it just me? Watch it. That sounds so good. Right? <laughs> like like music movies aren't really my thing. Like I don't really care for it, but like some of them are really good though. Like almost famous I, is a very I could good see movie. that being a thing. I could see that being a thing that people like. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just love that the chat is is so anti <laughs> Sally. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Michael, like Will, it. and Justin are just like like plotting <laughs> Sally's doom. She's the devil. She's a train in disguise. <laughs> Um, I just I have to point out two of those people are your players. That's so. true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's not the whole chat. <laughs> um, you can have my soul. She deserves it. All right. So uh, she goes in. She finds you guys having your Italian, and she gives Tommy the coffee. Uh, she gives Denny a little pat on the shoulder, um, and she says, "Have a good meal, everybody." And she heads back to the back of the train. I like her. My shirt smells weird now. <laughs> you don't like her? No. What'd she do? Working for her was kind of, from what I remember, wasn't... It was, she's super controlling. Okay. Tommy remembers. Because Liz Lizzie let us, like, try things and... She's not afraid of fire, so I can try fire things, and uh, she lets me do lets fun things with lights. Yes. Lizzie gives permission for any and all pyrotechnics. <laughs> exactly, and I think, I think we have some music to one of Tommy's songs, but she hasn't picked up any of mine yet. But she still listens. It was so I don't know better. anything about the boss. I never worked a day in my life. That's a lie. Yeah, how are you so rich? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, yeah, he 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 asked. Okay. Now remind me how this one goes. Uh, we say we go rock, paper, scissors, and then shoot. You pick paper, rock. Or scissors. Scissors, uh, scissors beats rock. Rock beats paper. Paper beats scissors. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds familiar. 
And if okay. I if I win, you tell me. If you okay. win, you get something. All right. All right. What do I get? Whatever you want. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> she got you with the guns. I knew I remembered that one. It's because it had the word shoot in it. <laughs> Denny, that what? ends your winning streak. Fuck. What was Ruby, I up to? You had, I think it was 12 this time. Ruby, you have broke the streak. Well, that sounds unlucky. Of the unbreakable rock, Denny. Oh, boy. Well, let's assume we need us more bad luck. Cut to. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. The next morning. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Now, there's a couple of things that happened that night before that. Um, So we'll ask ask you a couple of questions. One, do you guys continue to stay up late drinking, or after you have your meal, do you go to bed? Uh, Tommy goes to bed. Okay. Denny doesn't go to bed or drink. He just walks around. Okay. (laughs) <clears throat> so Denny just sort of walks up and down the train as it's as it's <laughs> yeah. driving. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> how how late does he do that until? Three. Okay. Um, he's afraid of the witching hour, so two twenty five or two fifty five. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> he ducks back into his room right right yeah. on time. <laughs> it's behind me. It's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about Ruby? Does she go back to her room? Um, I think Ruby will walk up and down the train with with Dennis because um that's very much that's very much a, a a Ruby thing to do. Okay. Um, even though something's clearly wrong with this train, um, and then when I get tired, I'll go back. So once, 9 p.m. once Dennis leaves, I'm uh, I'm gonna <laughs> check in with with the with the train again. Okay. Um, it was ten o'clock by the time we started rolling off, so right. wasn't that? All right. So when when Denny goes to bed at two fifty five, you walk. <laughs> Night, you Ruby. Walk, you walk to the front <laughs> of the train. Um, I'm actually gonna do it at just in the middle of the train. Okay. I want to see if he's in the whole thing or something weird's going on. So you like you touch a wall and try to talk to him. Mm-hmm. You only get this impression of amusement from the front of the train but there aren't any words well it's a good feeling i'll go to bed okay <laughs> uh and then bye mr train <laughs> you get Have a, a good sleep. you get a good a really strong impression of a good night um <laughs> from the train lizzie I'm before you go to bed timmy yeah. comes up to you and says, and he holds out his hand, and he's like, "Peace." Shake his hand. I'm gonna go. Abs- absolutely. I am so sorry for being such a bitch to you guys. You are too nice, and I don't deserve it. So thank you. I'm sorry too about being very short. I was. I've never been in that situation before, where there were all those people dying. And we couldn't really help that much. And I just... We all lost our tempers, and I'm sorry. It's okay. I should have done more. But then maybe I shouldn't have, because the one person I tried to help, I couldn't help. So There were a lot of people we couldn't know. help. But, you know, like, at least they didn't die alone. Screaming. Yeah. Alone. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But... Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Sally told me about her plan and I fully support it. I think we should, I think we should all look out for each other. So. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I, I thank you. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, you get to bed soon. Don't stay here drinking too long. Uh, and then he, he heads out. All right. Good night. 
Good night. Um, and the door closes behind him. Now we are cutting to the next morning. Oh, God. I knew it. The train is stopped when you wake up. Who wakes up the earliest? <laughs> I mean, Ruby probably wakes up when the train stops. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you wake up around 6.30 in the morning. <clears throat> so you don't get much sleep. Oh, damn it. But the light is coming in <laughs> dimly through your windows. Because there's snow outside. And not far from your window, there seems to be kind of a rocky wall uh, that is snow covered. It's not like it's not like built out of stone. It is made of rock. Like like a like a like a cliff, like a mountain. Like the side of a mountain. Okay. <laughs> It's not built of stone, it's made of rock. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I thought I understood, and then I thought I misunderstood. Um, the air feels crisp and cold, and um, and everything is very quiet. Um, so not so much the train stopping, but does this look like something that's usually on the route? Uh, it's very hard to know that. Okay. Um, I, I guess my question is, since I've... Oh, like, like, do you, like, so, gone, like, do we go through such high altitudes? Yes, of you go over that... very high mountains at one okay. point. And, and it is not unusual for it to be still snowing in August up at these high, high altitudes. Okay. It's never made any sense to you why <laughs> the train would go up the mountain's so high. <laughs> Good question. Mr. Train, do you know why we go up so high? There's no answer. There's no feeling. There's no impression. There's nothing. Mr. Train? Well, I better start heading towards the engine car, see what's going on with this guy. Okay. Is he been a, it's not his fault he has a weird voice. You open your door and you immediately see that not the door next to you where Lizzie is, but the door after that where the rovers are is open. And there's an arm laying out the door into the hallway. Wow. Well. Scar on down, take a peek in. So I'm headed up towards the front. Yeah, there's the arm attached to anything. Four bodies in the room, all slumped around the room, pale, clearly dead. Are they bloody? No, they don't look like they have a drop of blood in them. It's not normal. And I'll continue my way up towards the engine car. Okay. Uh, people are waking up around the train. Uh, there are some people doing some things. Uh, people at a, a, you know, somebody's restocking the bar. Um, but nobody seems, nobody's panicking. Nobody's screaming or running or anything like that. Oh, it's probably normal, Dan. <laughs> um, you... Continue your way up towards the front of the train. Um, Lizzie, you wake up as cold air blows in to your room onto your face. Shit, why am I cold? And there is snow coming in through the window. Ah, uh, shit, why is there snow coming in? And I'm going to, like, jump up and, like, close the window. Uh, sure. Also, I'm going to pause here as Will asks, is the train called the Demeter? Uh, no. Good reference. <laughs> Two, if 
I don't think there's ever been a better idea with a uh, more obvious poor execution than the movie The Demeter. Like, I'm not going to see The Demeter because it looks terrible. Mm-hmm. But holy shit, is it a good idea. <laughs> it is an excellent idea for a movie that looks like an absolute idiot took control of it and made it. And The Demeter should have been made in the style of The Witch. Like, if mm-hmm. you guys have seen The Witch... That's what the Demeter should have been. It should have been stark. It should have been, uh, it should have been genuinely like, uh, like claustrophobic and and paranoid. Um, and if you don't know what the Demeter is, it's the ship that Dracula came over to England on. And in the novel, Dracula, the Demeter comes in and everybody's dead on it. Um, but uh, but they're making a movie called the the, the Demeter or the Last Voyage mm-hmm. of the Demeter or whatever. And it is such a good idea. You do this vampire on a ship um movie and you do it like the witch it's stark the people are are genuine they're real like like old timey ass victorian sailors and people coming over and everybody has a story um but they're doing it as the most like cg monster fuckery that like it's so disappointing because it's such a good idea um but uh but no the train is the train is not called the demeanor um <laughs> uh so uh so yeah lizzie you you reach up you close the window um and you you look out and you see it is snowing outside where the hell are we uh, <laughs> guys guys huh ah. Huh? It's snowing. <laughs> Who left the window open? God, it's snowing. It's snowing. Where the fuck are we? I don't know. But oh, you think train. We're not I'm like peek outside the window. I don't think we're moving. Yeah, it's kind of fogged over because of the the temperature difference, but you can kind of make out the side of a mountain about fifteen feet away from you. Were we supposed to make a stop on a mountain? Oh, maybe there's like a tree down or something. Ew. We, is there somebody asks the guy? I don't, I, I, are we allowed to talk to the conductor? Yeah, you can talk to the conductor. Uh, maybe we'll like go out and see if we can find people and if anyone knows anything. Yeah. What do you guys wear Tommy, to bed? Stand here. Oh, Lizzie went to bed in her clothes last night. She did not get changed. Okay. She collapsed. Is Denny, uh... I imagine Denny's, uh... Denny's... Completely nude. (laughs) Sleeper. (laughs) (laughs) For some reason, I pictured uh, Denny with no shoes or socks, corduroy pants, and, like, (laughs) an Italian t-shirt. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, like a a, a white... What thing tank? that has a name that you don't use anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not use that name anymore. I knew it was a bad name, but I didn't know it wasn't used anymore. I mean, I'm not going to cancel you if you use it, but I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay, so yeah, he's he's got he's got that look going. Um I'm imagining Tommy just passed out in his clothes. Uh, Tommy's at least in the, just in his trousers. Okay. Um, so yeah, so are you guys going to head out? You want to come, Tommy, or are you want to sleep some more? <sighs> Might as well move about. <laughs> on my shoe. All right, let's get you some pancakes, <laughs> big guy. my Yiller. shoe. <laughs> the one, one shoe. Head. I didn't say he didn't have his shoes on. I just said he just got to find one of his shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Lizzie's gonna grab a coat because it's cold out and she's not ready for that. Sure. Uh, you don't have a heavy coat. You have like a raincoat, but no. you don't have like a, a winter. I figured coat. like a leather jacket or something, sure. or like the suede tassels. Something. Oh sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. A yeah. fringe jacket. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, so you you step out into the hallway and you also see the arm sticking out of the rover's suite. Oh my mm. god. Guys, what? And I'm going to run over. Yeah. Everybody is dead <laughs> inside. You see 
all of them. You see Sally, Timmy, Johnny, and Clyde all just slumped, pale, eyes open, staring. I am just, with like, mouth gaping and eyes wide, I'm just gonna collapse to the floor. Like, I'm just gonna crumble in the ball on the ground, just in shock. Timmy is the one laying on the ground, his arm is out the door, and you collapse next to him. Yeah. Give me a perceive roll. Oh, no! <laughs> well, damn, I guess it's not normal. <laughs> no, it's not normal. Sal? Oh, she just wanted the best for everyone. She was a nice person. <laughs> yes, John. Uh, John no, Lee, no, she... you, you figured out yeah. my diabolical plan, which is to give Lizzie <laughs> yeah, a bit of hope back. You're going to give it then... to Lizzie and then take it away. <laughs> just take it right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, not even a good roll. <laughs> it's good enough to see the two puncture marks on Timmy's neck. Oh, that... oh my God. Guys, look at this. We have to tell someone. And standing in the doorway between the cars is the tall man from... I thought it was going to be the stick girl. ...the station. And he looks at you and he says, Well, that is odd. What are you hoping to tell someone? Someone's dead. Yeah. Many people are dead. Good people are dead. Oh, it looks like fear for four people. That is a lot. Did you kill them? Did I kill them? No, I just got out of bed and I saw an arm. Yeah, it's likely. Well, they see. Well, uh, I guess you will have to prove yourself in court of law because I believe they have the death penalty in this state. What? Just kill me already. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> me and Tommy are witnesses. We didn't do shit. Oh, well, that is good. Is that good? Good, good, good. Uh, well, we must have a murderer on the train. Is, is, it, is it you? Is it me? Nine. Yeah. Do not like killing people. Social insight? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Can, may I do that as well? Yeah, but everybody gets social insight. Okay. So, yeah. Social insight. Ooh, okay. Plus three. So that's six. Damn. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, it. Oh. maybe it doesn't like people no. rolling <laughs> in quick at the same time. at all. Yeah. Oh, and I, I can't oh. do it there because I, I still haven't <laughs> all right so that one is justin um oh, 17 that one is rachel um all right so uh michael and justin so timmy and denny uh both believe him uh but not lizzie it's always Lizzie. There's always very clear information in front of her, and she chooses not to believe. Uh, you you think maybe he did this. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we're going to end tonight's episode as Ruby gets to the engine and lays her hand on the engine. And the voice is very far away. And all you can hear it doing is whimpering. And the only feeling that radiates from it is terror. Don't, don't jump. And that I'll is where we want. <laughs> don't <laughs> jump. <laughs> don't jump. Well, the other guy got, he got scared and he jumped. And even though this train said that he wouldn't jump, well, we should still check. That's it's just a little reminder. It's a good point. But also, point. I'll look into it. Because <laughs> now my trend's in danger. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, so this is where so we, we will... we assume that this is a murder on the Orient Express game. Wait, say that again? 
I said we should have assumed it was a murder on the Orient Express game. I mean, yeah, you're on a train. Someone's going to die. I know. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, someone's going to die, but I didn't think we'd be like, <laughs> did, oh, you're framed for murder? Did you, did you know that they were going to die by a vampire-like puncture wounds, or did you decide that because no. everyone kept saying your German character sounded like Dracula? <laughs> no, it was, it was 100%. Also, Dracula's Romanian. Let's not. Yeah. Let's not. Yeah, I thought there was a That's... Romanian guy, though, on the game. It, in this game. There's a Russian guy. <laughs> yeah, there's a Russian. <laughs> Vlad Vlad or something I thought like it that. went, ooh, Germany. He went, <laughs> hey, it's stop. Romanian. No, I, no, I never said, hey, it's <laughs> Romanian. I just said... <laughs> German doesn't equal Nazi. <laughs> you were like, he's a German. He's trying to put me on a train. I'm like, you came to the train station. You you, the only, you the are only, trying to get on the train. <laughs> the only person that was ever suspected was Vladislav, um, but that was just because of the interaction with Denny. Yeah, he did. Well, he was weird. I also Everyone told you game is. literally the first episode when someone said like, oh, like he's a Nazi. I was like, no, that's a vampire accent. That's not. <laughs> And then you all ignored me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's what I was thinking with the Romanian. Um, wow, in your head, all Germans are Nazis and all Romanians are vampires. Cancel. Wow. Cancel. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I guess that's that's my question then. So the second that someone heard your vaguely Russian guy and was like, Oh, no, I've always, this was always a vampire story. You already story. knew. It was always a vampire I story. I love that. <laughs> yeah, this was always I a vampire story. I love because we haven't had we got vampires we ha after our first game. You told us about vampires, right? Th there hasn't been a vampire in a worst days since the pl first playtest of the worst days. So I was mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, we haven't done a we haven't done a vampire in a long it's time. time. Um, so yeah, let's 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 rock and roll on some vampire. Uh, Why is this train so scared? They don't have any blood. <laughs> Life What's there to be afraid of? It's a great question. Um, <laughs> So, uh, all right. So uh, that will do it for tonight. Uh, Michael Morris, where can people find you or your work on the internet? You can find me here on Tuesdays. You can find me on the podcast app reading sleep stories. You can find me on Etsy at Dicely Done, where I make little trinkets and baubles. Yeah, go check that out. Uh, the best named Etsy store uh, that I've <laughs> ever, ever seen. Uh, Justin Allen, where can people find you on the internet? Find me here every Tuesday, just like Michael, and uh, most anywhere on social media as Ranger037 or Lone underscore Ranger037. Awesome. Quinn, can people find you on the internet? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rachel, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me here every Tuesday. You can find me on Instagram at Rachel underscore Max, and you can find me on my website at Rachel-Max.com. Excellent. Thank you to uh, Worm Germ, to Will, to Epic Inside, to uh, Jolly Blue Gnome, to everybody who was in the chat, everyone who came and hung out with us. Hey, if you were watching tonight because you want to be part of the worst days, thanks for hanging out. Uh, and I'll be in touch soon because we are talking to some people about about potentially joining this this here group of people. Um, hey, go check out worst-days.com, uh, also weepingcedars.com, the horror audio drama series that I write, um, and uh, come join our Discord, come hang out, watch our videos on YouTube, and like them. Uh, mm -hmm. do, those are the things you can do to really help us out. Um, so, uh, yeah, that will do it. I should be back tomorrow night. Uh, playing some games with the, uh, uh, with the Chris Zumski and, uh, the Ashton Royal, uh, and, um, and yeah, yeah, we will do all of that. So, for the Justin Allen, for the Michael Morris, for Quinn Steve Bold. Don't do that, Justin. And <laughs> the Rachel Max. I have been your host, Joshua Wise. This has been the first days. We hope you've had this best time. Good night, everybody. Yeah, the worst days. It's about sausage. <laughs> <laughs>